Hello viewer, my name is Oladu Bingarafo. This is the continuation of circuit theory. One. The objective of this circuit theory is that viewers should be able to identify angles in and I know that angles in a semicircle is a right angle. Know that the opposite angle in a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. Know that the exterior angle is equal to the opposite interior angle. Theorem 5 Cyclic quadrilaterals. The opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral. This is the theorem. The opposite angle of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary, meaning the opposite angle of a cyclic quadrilateral are equal to 180. In figure 1.12a and 1.12b, A, B, C, D, and P, Q, R, S are cyclic quadrilateral. These two diagrams here are cyclic quadrilateral. Note, the sum of supplementary angles is 180 degree, which is what I told you. That's the meaning of 180. That's the meaning of supplementary. To prove B, A, D plus B, C, D equals to 180 degree, prove with the letter in figure 1.12c, which is in the next page. Figure 1.12c. BOD. This is the figure 1.12c. BOD equals to 2y. BOD equals to 2y, which is the angle here is 2y. That's angle at the center is equals to 2 times angle at the circumference, which is this angle this angle here is equals to two times this angle here likewise this angle here equals to two times this angle here reflex bod equals to 2x reflex bod this is bod which is 2y reflex bod which is the angle the remaining angle after this 2y is 2x which is also angle at the center is equals to two times angle at the circumference that's the theorem used Therefore, 2x plus 2y equals to 360. The total angle here is equals to 360, which is 2x plus 2y. Angle at the point. Taking like times, we have 2, we have x plus y equals to 360. We, we are, so we divide both sides by 2. So we are left with x plus y equals to 360 over 2. x plus y equals to 180 degree. But x equals to BAD x this is x x equals to b a d which is this angle here y equals to b c d this is y y equals to b c d which is this angle here therefore b a d plus b c d equals to 90 degree so which is x plus y equals to 90 degree which is x equals to b a d which is this plus y which is equals to b c d which equals to 90 degree Theorem 6 under cycle, cyclic quadrilateral, exterior angles of a cyclic quadrilateral. An exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the opposite interior angle. So, this is diagram that we are going to be proving. Prove that BAD equals to BCX, which is BAD, which is this angle here, equals to BCX, which is this angle here. With the lettering in figure 1.13, this figure 1.3, x1 plus y equals to 180. x1 plus y equals to 180, which is opposite angle of a cyclic quadrilateral. The opposite angle of a cyclic quadrilateral are equal to 180. Likewise, x2 plus y equals to 180. x2 plus y equals to 180, which is angle on a straight line. Angle on a straight line is equal to 180. So, x1 equals to 180 minus y. From this equation, we make x1 subject of formula. So, that's why we are left with x1, the y equals to this side, it turns to minus y. So, x1 equals to 180 degree minus y. Likewise, here from here to we make x2 the subject formula. So, y equals to this place. So, we have x2 equals to 180 minus y. 
therefore x1 equals to x2 which is equals to 180 degree minus y x1 equals to 180 degree minus y x2 equals to 180 degree minus y therefore x1 equals to x2 which is equals to 180 degree minus y therefore bad equals to bcx which is bad which is x1 is equals to bcx which is equals to x2 which is equals to 180 minus y example in figure 1.14 ce is a diameter of circle a b c d e if a b c equals to 127 degree find a c e so they say that c e this c line c e is a diameter meaning it passes through the center of the circle so a b c equals to 127 degree this is a b c which is this place which is equals to 127 degree so we have to find a c e a c e so we have to find this angle here solution from figure 1.14 a d c equals to 180 degree minus 127 a d c this is a d c a d c here is equals to 180 minus 127 degree you know from the previous page we said that opposite angle of a cyclic quadrilateral are equal to 180 degrees so to get this angle here we need to subtract 127 from 180 degree to get this angle here so adc equals to 53 degree so this place here is 53 degree and edc equals to 90 degree e d c equals to 90 degree angle in a semicircle because this line passes through the center of the circle so it is like this so therefore this angle here equals to what 90 degree which is angle in a semicircle therefore e d a equals to 90 degree minus 53 e d a which is this angle small angle here is equals to 90 minus 53 degree if this total angle here is equals to 90 degree and a d c which is this angle here is equals to 53 degree so to get this small angle here we need to subtract 90 minus 53 which is what is done here so e d a which is this small angle equals to 37 degree therefore a C A C E A C E which is this angle here is close to 37 degree angle in the same segment as E D A. So which is this place is 37 degree or because they are angle in the same segment as E D A. This angle here is the same is in the same segment with this angle here. So that's how we get our A C E. Example 4 in figure 1.15 P, Q, R, S are points on a circle center O. Q, P is produced to X. Q, P is produced to X. If X, P, S equals to 77 degree, X, P, S, which is this angle here, is equals to 77 degree. 77 degree and pso equals to 66 degree pso which is this angle here equals to 60 degree find pqo pqo we have to find find pq we have to find this angle here solution from figure 1.15 qrs q r s is equals to 77 degree exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral which is the angle here is equals to the angle here qos is equals to 2 times 77 degree qos is equals to 2 times 77 degree which is angle at the center is 2 times angle at the circumference so since this place is 77 degree to get this angle here it is 2 times the angle here which is 2 times 77 degree to get 
QPS QPS which is the angle here is equals to 180 degree minus 77 degree which is angle on a straight line 180 degree minus 7 QPS equals to 105 degree in quadrilateral PQOS QPQOS PQO PQO equals to 360 degree minus 154 degree minus 103 degree minus 60 degree sum of angle in a quadrilateral that's the rules that was that was used here which is to the total number of angle in a quadrilateral is equal to 360 degree we got the angle here to be 105 degree we got the angle here to be 154 degree the angle here is 60 degree so to get the angle here we need to subtract all the angle we got here here and here from 360 to get the angle here so that's how we get this one so sum of angle in a quadrilateral is equal to 360 degree so pq equals to that five degree so that will be all for now on that circle theory summary of lesson the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary i.e it's equal to 180 degree that's theorem 5. exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral an exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the opposite imperial angle theorem 6. sum of angle in a quadrilateral sum of angle in a quadrilateral is equal to 360 degree angle on a straight line the angle on a straight line is equal to 180 degree so these two theorem we are these two rules we are used to prove the theorem 5 and theorem 6 so please it's important to note it it's a simple exercise for you to try on your own under these theorems that that we proved in the previous pages so please send your inquir inquiries and answers to this gmail below thank you